Where did I leave that stupid pee? Dude, retrace your steps. Okay, I remember we were walking this way, and you had to stop Mrs. Butler from wandering out of her room again. No, no, Mrs. Butler. Back in here. Then I got paged to surgery. Right, and I came with you to cheer you on and to hold your fedora. Mm-hmm. And then we went out to the ramp to celebrate. There it is. Why would it turn purple? King George III. Van Gogh. King Nebuchadnezzar, Mary Queen of Scots. All these notable people, and more, are widely believed to have had a condition known as porphyria. This week is Porphyria Awareness Week, and this is a short video to give everyone a basic understanding of what porphyria is. So what is porphyria? The porphyrias are a group of relatively rare genetic disorders that are incurable, they negatively affect the skin or the nervous system. They are called the porphyrias because they cause a build-up of chemicals called porphyrins, purple-red pigments, named from the Greek for purple, or the simpler chemicals used by the body to make porphyrins. The disease was described as early as 370 BC by Hippocrates. The underlying mechanism was first described by Felix Hopsala in 1871. The porphyrias are broadly categorised into acute and cutaneous skin, according to the symptoms suffered, although some acute porphyrias also suffer from skin symptoms, VP and HCP. The severity of symptoms varies dramatically in all types of porphyria, but no matter which type, the more knowledgeable about their condition a patient is, the more they are likely to stay well. The common symptoms vary, differing on the type of porphyria, and can include, but are not limited to, severe abdominal and other pain, convulsions and muscular weakness, nausea and vomiting. If the skin is affected, blisters or itching may occur with sunlight exposure, and people with this strain have often and sometimes unfavourably been compared to vampires. Left undiagnosed and untreated, it could lead to paralysis and can at times be fatal. Attacks may be triggered by alcohol, smoking, hormonal changes, fasting, stress or certain medications. It has been featured on TV shows like House and Scrubs. Okay, I'm googling purple pee. Google that bitch! That's it. We left it in the sun. If urine exposed to UV light turns purple, it's a sign of a rare genetic disorder called acute intermittent porphyria. Symptoms include bloating, high blood pressure, seizures. Cox's patient has all of those. He figured it out. (laughs) One, two, three. In his face. And any gamers may recognize that it is mentioned in the Elder Scrolls. As most porphyrias are rare conditions, general hospital labs typically do not have the expertise, technology or staff time to perform porphyria testing. In general, testing involves sending samples of blood, stool and urine to a reference laboratory. All samples to detect porphyrins must be handled properly. Samples should be taken during an acute attack, otherwise a false negative result may occur. Samples must be protected from light and either refrigerated or preserved. My aim with this video is the hope that in raising awareness, it it potentially leads to people with unknown illnesses being diagnosed due to a spread in this knowledge. I am also collecting donations on behalf of the British Porphyria Association. The more awareness and funds raised for this association, the better they can be supported in the incredible work that they already do. I have contacted them a number of times in regards to queries about my condition and have always received useful and prompt advice. The British Porphyria Association aims are to improve understanding of the porphyrias, educate patients and their families about their condition, provide an emotional support system for patients and their families, provide helpful contacts with doctors and specialists, enable further understanding for doctors and other healthcare professionals, Provide a grant or aid fund so that members can apply for help with certain costs incurred because of their porphyria. Keep patients up to date with new research. Provide funding for new research and encourage research establishments to consider porphyria for research.
raise awareness of the porphyrias and ensure that the portrayal is always accurate. If you would like any more details or information, please visit www.porphyria.org.uk. This is the British Porphyrias Association's website. If you would like to donate, please visit my Just Giving page, www.justgiving.com forward slash be read for porphyria. Donating through Just Giving is simple, fast and totally secure. Your details are safe with Just Giving. They'll never sell them on or send unwanted emails. Once you donate, they'll send your money directly onto the charity. So it's the most efficient way to donate, saving time and cutting costs for the charity. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you're a little more aware of what Perfuria is.